identify washing soda or baking soda among given samples of chemicals. Materials required Sodium carbonate decahydrate washing soda Ammonium chloride Sodium chloride Red litmus paper strips Freshly prepared lime water Dilute hydrochloric acid Test tubes Test tube stand A thistle funnel A double board cork A delivery tube A glass rod Measuring cylinder Dropper Spatula Distilled water Procedure Take 1 gram of each given sample of sodium carbonate decahydrate and put it in a test tube labelled A. Again, take 1 gram of ammonium chloride and put it in a test tube labelled B. Now, take 1 gram sodium chloride and put it in a test tube labelled C. Add 5 ml of distilled water to each test tube containing sodium carbonate decahydrate. Ammonium chloride and sodium chloride and gently shake the test tube. Now transfer a drop of every salt solution of sodium carbonate decahydrate ammonium chloride and sodium chloride one by one on a separate red litmus paper strip using a glass rod. Precaution Wash the glass rod used for one sample before using it for another sample. Observe if any color changes occur in the litmus paper while dropping the chemical solutions. Now, add 1 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid in each test tube and observe if any effervescence may be formed in any test tube or not. If any effervescence may form in any test tube, then a lime water test will be performed for confirmation. To perform the lime water test, an effervescent resulting test tube is set up with an apparatus set up of attaching double hold cork, thistle funnel and one end of the delivery tube. Note. The other end of the delivery tube is attached to the other test tube containing lime water. Add dilute hydrochloric acid slowly into the solution through the thistle funnel and observe the change in the lime water. Wait for some time and observe the changes again in the lime water. Transfer the liberated gas through the lime water in a test tube. The lime water turns milky. Continue passing the liberated gas through the lime water. Observation Adding salt solution to the litmus paper. 
when a drop of sodium carbonate decahydrate solution is added to red litmus the red litmus turns blue but when adding the drops of ammonium chloride and sodium chloride to red litmus no color change occurs in the litmus paper adding dilute hydrochloric acid when the dilute hydrochloric acid was introduced to test tube a and it reacts with sodium carbonate decahydrate and produces sodium chloride water and carbon dioxide gas with a brisk effervescence nacl3 solid plus 2 hcl aqueous give 2 nacl aqueous plus co2 gas plus h2o liquid when the dilute hydrochloric acid was introduced to test tube b it reacts with ammonium chloride and the resultant will be an ammonium chloride itself since it is a weak base nh4cl solid plus hcl aqueous give nh3 gas plus h2o liquid plus hcl gas when the dilute hydrochloric acid was introduced to test tube c it reacts with sodium hydroxide and produces sodium chloride the salt and water sodium chloride is comprised of na plus cations from the base naoh and cl minus anions from the acid hcl hcl plus naoh give h2o plus nacl confirmation test lime water test the carbon dioxide gas evolved when hcl reacted with sodium carbonate decahydrate and was passed through lime water and it changed the lime water into a milky or white precipitate of calcium carbonate caoh2 aqueous plus co2 gas give caco3 solid plus h2o liquid passing the carbon dioxide gas in excess resulting the milky color into a clear solution of calcium hydrogen carbonate this confirms the presence of carbon dioxide precautions do not touch your skin while handling washing soda or hydrochloric acid freshly prepared lime water should be used for performing lime water test